with another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be basically explaining how you guys can grow your YouTube channel and gain more subscribers, more views in 2020. Now I know a lot of you guys have asked me tips on how to grow and how to get more views or you're not really like gaining any viewership and for some reason you'll post but you can't gain subscribers. And in today's video, I'm going to be basically giving you guys like six tips on how to actually improve your growth and like scientific ways that tons of YouTubers have used to actually grow. And I've used myself to grow over 20,000 subs in around a year time and hopefully even more like 75,000 at the end of this year. So if you're looking forward to this video, make sure you slap a like button on it. Comment what you want to see for a future video. Hit that subscribe button. You guys already know. Use the code RAITHFN in the item shop. And let's get right into the video. So tip number one, and this is a pretty big one, is you have to learn the basics. Like, very basics. And once you get better, advanced versions of editing and creating good thumbnails. Those two are probably one of the biggest things. Just because if your video is really bad and it has terrible cut cuts or not very good cuts where like for example um you kill someone and then for like 20 seconds it'll just be a clip of you running or looting their body etc not gonna look that good people are gonna want to watch that the thumbnails are probably the most important besides tags which i'll get to in a bit and people want to click on your videos because the thumbnails look enticing they look cool they'll be like oh this video actually looks cool i want to look at this and see who the top 10 best fortnite players are or see how to improve in fortnite or how to rank up in fortnite right or this montage looks cool it has a really cool thumbnail right so you gotta learn how to do these basics now there's tons of ways you can learn it one is just by trying and keep doing it the more you do it the better you're gonna get and number two is watch youtube videos i learned all my editing skills which again they're not that good like i'm very basic at editing and i learned all of it through other youtube videos and the nice thing is you don't really need to spend a lot of money like some people think you need to spend 80 dollars a month on photoshop or 60 dollars on adobe um editing software but in reality you can get everything you can edit with for free like i use canva for my thumbnails which is free and then pixlr for my like um messages on the screen where it would be like top 10 sweaty skins all like the writing is from pixlr and then for my videos i use filmora and again all three of those are free i get as much editing as i want for free instead of spending 80 dollars per month on editing softwares so now my next tip is figure out what you want to post now this is a big one just because so many people post like random things like for example it's really hard if you're a channel and you're posting Grand Theft Auto gameplay, then you're posting Fortnite gameplay, then you're posting Overwatch gameplay, blah 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 blah, right? You want to stay consistently, like, normal with what you post. Like, for example, if you're a Fortnite channel, post Fortnite things. Now, it's a little bit different if, like, people are watching you for yourself, like, if you're extremely funny and whatever the case is, then yeah, that's a little bit different. Then you can post whatever you want. Like, for example, Dr. Disrespect. Like, people watch him because they like watching him. So that's a little bit different. But if you want to grow, like, a Fortnite YouTube channel, just stick consistent with Fortnite, like, and figure out what you want to do. Do you want to uh, post trick shots? Do you want to post tips and tricks, like, similar to what I do? Do you want to do montages? Do you want to do your gameplay, like, Benji Fish? Like, what do you want to do? And just stay consistent with it. Like, for example, I mostly post tips and tricks, and then every so often montages. And the reason I post montages is just because I enjoy doing it. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, well, then you're not going to stick with it, right? So I enjoy doing tips and tricks because I help liking you guys learn and improve and get better. But I also like doing montages because I feel like I, I don't know, I just enjoy doing them, right? So figure out what works for you and what you want to post and what you're good at. Are you good at speaking and talking over gameplay and figure out how to analyze and help people improve? Or are you good at the game and drop 20 kills all the time? Or are you really good in competitive or make sick plays? Well, then... Do what you want to do, right? It's all about finding what you want to do and sticking with it. So coming back to what I talked about in the first tip is understanding tags. And yes, I know you guys are going to flame me for how I pronounce tags in the comments. But understanding tags, and yes, that is T-A-G-S, is probably the most important thing out of everything besides thumbnails. And basically how tags work is YouTube algorithm kind of figures out what tags you're using and how to promote them. So for example, 
um, you have 500 characters for your takes. If you guys don't know what that is, basically look it up on YouTube. There's tons of videos explaining the YouTube algorithm and how to grow through tags. So for example, on my videos on how to improve in Fortnite, I'll have some tags that say how to improve in Fortnite 2020 or how you can get better in Fortnite or what you can do to improve in Fortnite, right? So understanding and putting good tags in your videos has a way higher chance at allowing your videos to reach a wider audience as well as blowing up. So if you guys don't understand or know what tags are, highly, highly, highly recommend looking at YouTube. Like I watched probably like 10, 15 hours of YouTube videos literally just explaining tags. And honestly, the biggest videos that I've had, like the ones that hit three, di like uh, six digits, all of them have really, really good takes in the video, which allowed them to blow up. So trust me, spend the time and research on how to improve and actually put in tags. Because if you're not putting tags in right now, I guarantee you it's going to be way harder for your videos to blow up or reach an audience. So tip number four is staying consistent. Now I know you guys have heard this before if you watch any video about improving at any game or improving at anything in life, as well as growing on social media or YouTube or whatever the case is, but it's honestly like a big deal. Like if you don't stay consistent and you don't like upload consistently, people aren't going to want to watch you and aren't going to come back to your channel. For a lot of you guys, or some of you guys may not know, but I do upload Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Sometimes if I have school or I don't have time on Sunday, I'll just upload Tuesday and Thursday. A lot of you guys know that. Like, if you don't know that, you guys at least know that I upload like two to three times a week, right? Unless you're not subscribed, which if you aren't, make sure you go hit that subscribe button down below. Um, but yeah, staying consistent is super, super important. If you're only posting once a month, or once every three months and then you post four videos in a row and then you take another month break well people aren't going to come back and watch you right they're going to be like well why would i watch this guy who's inconsistent he only posts once in a while when he feels like it why would i watch him right unless you're super big already or you have a super cool personality that a lot of people love people just aren't going to come back and waste their time coming and watching you when you only post once a week or, twi or once every month or whatever, right? Unless your videos take a while to garner and actually like make, like for example, if you're doing a prank Fortnite channel or something like that, and it takes you a week to make a video or two weeks to make a video because they're really good, they're really strongly edited, you guys have perfect thumbnails, perfect takes, etc. That's a little bit different. But if you're just uploading montages or clips or tips and tricks videos and you're not uploading consistently well you gotta kind of rethink it right because the more consistent and the more you upload quality content the higher of a chance more people will see it and the higher chance you have to grow so trust me if i were you guys i would try and upload minimum once a week um not honestly that difficult like i know all, a lot of you guys have school whatever the case is work i am working right now i have school right now i'm playing fortnite right now i go to the gym and i still try my best to upload twice or three times a week so again in my opinion if i were you guys try and stick with a consistent uploading schedule a lot of you guys will in my be in my comments being like i posted six videos but i'm not growing why am i not growing right but when I look on your channel, you'll be you'll posted a, a, two, three videos one year ago. You posted two videos six months ago, and then you just posted a video, right? People aren't gonna say, people aren't gonna watch. Like I'm sorry to say, but that's the truth. So my next tip, and this is another big one, is finding ways to improve your videos every single time you post. So for example, every single time I post, well, most of the times I post, honestly, um, I rewatch my video, like I watch it, and yes, sometimes I cringe on the way I speak and how I pronounce things, not gonna lie, but I do rewatch my videos and be like, okay, what can I do to improve my videos? Like what will make people watch a little bit more? Um, what will make people want to stick around and subscribe or like the video or comment down below saying, oh yeah, like I really enjoyed this video, right? So what I try and do in most of my videos is, especially at the start, is I got a brand new mic. So I improved my mic after I made a little bit of money off YouTube. I went and bought a new mic so the video qualities are hopefully a little bit better. Um, I tried to improve my Fortnite gameplay so I tried to become a better player so you guys are obviously enticed and watching the gameplay in the background. It's not just some one kill game, well most of the time. I'm not saying I'm a pro or anything like that. But I tried to improve my Fortnite gameplay a little bit. I tried to improve my thumbnail soft, like thumbnail editing all the time. Like I'm trying to improve how I make the thumbnails, how to make them cooler, how to make them look better so you guys actually are more enticed. And you guys are like, oh, this thumbnail looks super dope, right? And then I try and add things like, uh, for example, my old intro. Uh, I, try, I bought that and tried to add that in. Unfortunately, it got copyrighted. But just like small things like that can really help improve your video and make people want to stick around and make people actually enjoy your video. 
Now my next tip, and this is the last one, and this is super, super important. A lot of you guys are stuck under that, like, 100 subscriber range. A lot of you guys are like, okay, well, like, how do I break through this? Or a thousand subscribers, right? And the biggest tip I have, and honestly, I know, I know, I know you guys have heard this before, but share it to your friends, your family, um, self-promote. Like, not, like, I'm not saying don't go into YouTube comment sections and say, hey, go subscribe to me. That doesn't work anymore, right? Maybe in 2010, but not anymore. So what I would do is change your Fortnite name in-game and change it to, for example, for me, I just changed it to Wraith on YouTube. So whenever you kill someone or something like that, or they kill you, who knows, they'll go check out their YouTube channel. I can't tell you guys, I've probably had a hundred plus comments that I've seen of people who I've killed or have killed me who came to my YouTube channel and came watch and subscribe. And some of you guys watching this video probably saw me in a game or killed me in a game or I killed you in a game, which, hey, GG to you, man. Um, but yeah, like... Again, like simple things like that can help you gain a little bit of subscribers. I'm not saying it's going to give you 10,000 subscribers. No, but just having those extra couple subscribers can really actually help. If you guys did actually kill me or I killed you, let me know in the comments because I'm curious. And then like I said, show it to your families and friends. And like I said, if you guys said, if you guys say you don't have any friends or you don't have any family, which I'm sorry to hear, um, you can go in solo, or you can go in a squad fill game and just tell people, like, hey, man, I'd appreciate if you guys can go check out my YouTube channel. Um, or play, like, let people know that you play with, that you have a YouTube channel. And if they are really your friends, they're not going to make fun of you for it. If people make fun of you for your channel, like, just say, okay, well, whatever, like, these guys are my friends. Like, my friends support me, they go watch all my videos, they comment on it, they like it. And I get an extra, like, 10, 15 views. Like, my first 100 subscribers were all of my friends. Not really my family, but mostly my friends um, and people that I met online. So trust me, doing that will just help you push through that top 100 subscriber range and then keep going after that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you slap the like button on it. Comment where you want to see for a future video. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a good one, guys.